So I just wanted to cover responsive web design. And I guess in real simple terms, uh, your website responds to the screen size that it's being viewed on. It's a really important part of you know, today's world. A lot of people are you know, looking at your website on their mobile. They're browsing and checking you out and potentially buying online. So what I can do is I can kind of simulate it a little bit and I can use this uh, web browser, this is Chrome here, and watch what happens. This is perthcollege.com.au, and you can sort of drag it, and as you can see, I'm kind of dragging this website, and it's popping a bit, you know, it's, it's not a great way to test it, but you can see that on different sort of, I guess, uh, environments, it's showing a different look. So here, I've, you know, I've minimized this, and this would be what it would look like on a mobile. Um, and if I stretch it out a bit, this is maybe what it would look like on a, an iPad or a, or a tablet. Um, in fact, I've got my mobile on the go here. You can see my own website. You know, this is uh, sort of been designed to be mobile friendly, responsive. Let's have a little look at uh, Perth College. We can have a look at their website on, on the mobile too. And, uh, you know, it'll, it'll sort of show you what it looks like. So, see, that's simulating it right there. And that's what you saw in the web browser before. I'll just bring that up again. So responsive web design is really saying, I want my website to look good on any screen size that it's being viewed, on, viewed upon. So you should always test out your website. There's definitely other ways to do it. I'll show you a really advanced way for those, those techies. They, they might enjoy this one, the, the people that like to get in into a more. If you click on this little tab here, then go into more tools. You can come into developer tools. I love this part. You can go into developer tools and then this little icon right here, here I believe, allows you to resize it. Now, if I click on this one, I can choose a device. So if I want to have a little look at what it'll look like on an iPhone 6, I just click on iPhone 6 and it will simulate what the website looks like on an iPhone 6. So that's in a Chrome browser. Some people might like to go to that level. Um, some people might not. Uh, but I always like to show different people, uh, depending on your skill sets, about uh, yeah what you can do and how the web world can help you. So I'm going to encourage you to, uh, to look at that. I'm going to encourage you to ask your account manager if your website is responsive. And if it isn't, yeah, you definitely should be looking at getting a responsive upgrade to your website. Quite often it requires us to pull it apart and rebuild it because we use a different style of programming. But at the end of the day, the mobile experience is a lot more enhanced. That'll drive better conversions and make your website visitor have a much better experience. So that's Tim's tip of the week. Uh, hopefully that will get you on the path of navigating the digital world a little bit easier.